Hey everybody, I'm Psychroclasm, and this is the demo for Laser. And it's a platformer, but it's got claw physics. And you'll see what that means in a second. The question is why? Alpha City 1 2666, an unforgiving meat grinder run by AI and corrupt corporations, trapping millions of souls. You play as Laser, a fusion powered killer android who's just been accepted into the Alpha City 1 as a new freelancer. Your special skills give you an advantage over other freelancers. You can shoot lasers from your eyes. That's a pretty good advantage. And move quickly on the ground and in the air. You can even customize your shell with different modifications. Now let's meet your city contact, Jada. Jada has hired you to break into a Humacorp facility and steal sensitive data. She suspects Humacorp kidnaps and experiments on people with psychic abilities, but needs proof. This demo showcases one city district and <laughs> one city district and one mission composed of five levels. The mission in each level are timed and graded. You'll now be dropped into Alpha City One. Ready? It won't be easy. Fight me. Wait. Oh, I mean, I thought you were gonna drop me. Okay, challenges, airship, Humacorp level one, and training. Should we do training? Let's do training first, I guess. Welcome to movement training. You can skip dialogues by pressing B. You can jump with A and hold jump to hot. Grab onto walls and cloth by pressing X. Dash in the air with B and landing refills the dash. Slide on the ground while running with B. Reach the, level at the, reach the exit at the top of the level, okay? I trust you'll get the hang of it. Me too. Oh God, I'm adorable. Oh my god! I fought I dashed so far! Oh, this is adorable! Oh, see, look at that! I don't know why it needs that, but it's cool that it has it. So A, X, and O, and then the okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. This is cool! Up. Oh. A up B. Oh, what? That's cool. This whole thing is just badass. Oh, no. I'm dead? Ugh, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Level complete dash of 17. Zero lasers. I, don't, I didn't realize how to do lasers. Okay. Zero secrets. That's fine. Welcome to battle training. You can punch, kick, and melee with X. That's a lot of things assigned to X. Shoot lasers from your eyes with Y. There are three types of damage. Bullets, lasers, and explosions. Most of your shells are bulletproof, except the ultralight shell. Every time you die, a new shell is printed. You get to choose which type of shell you want. Pick the right shell for the level. You have three hit points, and some shell mods cost hit points. So choose your shell mods wisely. Speak with me at the airship to learn more. Okay! Oh! My eyes shoot a laser pellet. But that's fine. Wait. Oh, that's cool! It was a reflector. I didn't see that before. Am, am I am I fighting the bullets? I am! I'm literally punching and kneeing the bullets. That's awesome. Oh, reflex! <laughs> uh they said I have three hit points, but I feel like I've survived much more than is much more than Oh! Did I take damage or Oh, but I did reflect it, I think. Okay, I can hide behind things. Okay, I'm learning. How I do. How I do. Oh, they explode. I understand. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with the dash, honestly. Yep, didn't realize those were explosive. Whoops. <laughs> All right. I, th I feel confident. Let's hit level one. Find a way into the facility above. I'm sure it has something to do with the giant flaps of cloth above me. 
Some advice, watch out for laser barriers. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Go faster, go faster. Oh no. I keep forgetting that I have to grip onto these things. Okay, barrier. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool, cool, cool. That was the level? Damn, I'm so fast! Find a terminal, it's a few floors up. Okay. Man, I'm glad I did training, because otherwise I would have no idea what's going on. Why do I want why do I want a holographic kitty? I'm so confused. I have no understanding of this. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's a holographic dog. But either way, what do I want it for? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I got a heart back. I'm just going to keep fighting those bullets and everything will be fine, right? Okay, so does this go to this? Hmm. That's weird. All right, so I need help figuring out the dog. Oh, did not even see you up there, Budbo. A terminal activated, establishing link. Connected, copying database. We got a few seconds before we're discovered. Got it, we're done, but they know you're inside. That facility's part of a research cluster. They're weaponizing psychics, be careful. Get to the air tram station above. I still don't get why my blue dog, why my, A, I don't know why my doggy's blue now, and I don't get why I have him in the first place. I'm just gonna, oh! Didn't realize those were on a timer. Okay, let's try this again. Where to now? Hmm. Oh, the explosive door thingies do damage. Which makes sense because they are explosive. This is gonna suck! Ah, oh, damn! Those explode too! we just all agree to not look at the death counter at the end of this level and every, everybody will be fine. We'll all get along. Oh, this is going to be bad. I still don't get what the cat's for. <laughs> I think the main thing I think I've learned is that there's so much going on screen you cannot afford to be cautious or safe. Like you need to rush headlong into danger. 
like whether it seems really stupid or not. Because I've made it up here by running face first into the tanks over and over again. And then as I say that, I take a shit ton of damage. Oh. Well, that was interesting. First time that's actually gone well. Okay, so the door's at the end of the hallway. Oh, yeah. Yay! I guess. Shkia Cola. Can I have a Shkia Cola? Will it restore my health? I don't have very much. <laughs> oh, only 21 deaths? That's not that bad. It's so bad. I guess I should have changed my shell halfway through. What the hell is the point of the holographic dog? I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand the grabbing system. Like, I've had a problem with this. Like, like see, I feel like I, I was supposed to grab that there. Okay, that's what it was doing. Okay, 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 okay. Because I was having a problem, like, traversing the first level. Hang on. And if you reach the top of it, you fall down. I don't think that should be a thing. Alrighty. Actually, I didn't even see what my mission was this time. Uh, probably to get through that door. Uh, first of all. Can I make it? Yeah, I didn't think I could. <laughs> Damn it. See that right there, that was kind of the same thing. Like, I don't know why exactly I fell off that wall. I mean, it was probably supposed to happen, but it doesn't feel quite right. It was worth taking the damage. Okay, so I want to explode those. Oh. Yeah, explode those, open that door. Ooh, too much. Go across, okay, I thought I would, I thought, I thought the dash would work across that hole, it did not, okay. All right, let's try this again and not trust the dash, okay. Like, I love how good the dash is for traversing. It just, like, my my problem is, like, surfaces, like climbing. Like, I'm so used to games like this automatically grabbing onto things. Like, I think it's my fault that I keep falling off. But it's like, I don't realize that I have to grab the ladders until after I've already started falling. And again, that's entirely my fault, but it's just it's just a weird sticking point for me. Fuck. And no checkpoints. No checkpoint sucks. I mean, I know the levels are short, but this sucks. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, but why would I want to do that? Does this one ever turn off, or...? Oh! Yeah, see, that's really annoying. Oh, fuck balls! Why?! Oh, damn. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Why? Oh, and another weird sticking point for me. Um, I, I don't get why the big boxes explode twice. That That's not how that works. Like, at all. Okay, so that's the first thing I've seen where the cloth physics might have a point. That rope just burned up like a wick. And that was another thing that was really bothering me. It's like, why are we using cloth physics as a selling point when it doesn't really seem to have a purpose? And I guess that's probably the first thing I've seen where it makes sense for it to have cloth physics. Except that's not really cloth physics as much as it is just physics. So maybe there is something else. Oh, God damn it. Whew, finally. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Oh, fuck. Oh. I don't know what just happened. This is gonna suck. God damn it. All right, so what if, what if I did this? Oh my God. Mm. I hate. Okay, oh fuck. I literally didn't move. I don't know what's going on. Cool. Oh, shit. I should have shot before I came over here. Eh. Oh, jeebus. Upsie daisy. Upsie daisy again. Cool, I guess. This is gonna suck. And then when I die, I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning, which I hate. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Yay, I made it. Oh, God. 78 deaths. I just don't... I just don't see the point of the cloth physics yet, like... I'm really hoping a boss is going to show up that needs cloth physics for its arms, or I need to find a way to hook a rope onto something to prevent things from happening. I don't know. Scanning air tram. Target located. Engaging target. <laughs> Casualties expected. No, don't! They're innocent bystanders that I decided to use as a meat shield by getting on the train. <laughs> Let's be real. Target located. Resilient. 
You'll pay for what you've done. Should I really go down at all? Because it seems, it seems like being right here is going to be the best thing for me. Yeah, I should just hang out here, really. Everything's so smoky! Yeah, just dash up to the right and then fire off a laser. Easy cheese. Up to the right, fire off a laser. Up to the right, fire off a laser. Uh, come on. Up to the right, fire off a laser. Up to the right, fire off a laser! Yeah, no, no problem. Easy cheese. Done. <laughs> I got an S on level one! <laughs> Oh, I still got an A on level 4? That's nuts. Oh, oh, get ready for a bonus level. Okay. Tank heavily damaged. Requesting backup. Where did I get this flying motorcycle? You can run, but you can't hide. Oh. Oh, God! He can both run and hide, I guess. I don't know what just happened. Oh, see? See? That was... A, he looks like he's got a wire hanging off of him. That's that's a reason for cloth physics. Oh. Nope, he's just... he's He's got chained minds. I guess the randomness would make it a good reason for cloth physics? I don't know. God, it's so hard to see what's going on. <laughs> Oh, so I can just hang out up here and they can't even touch me? <laughs> so it seems like what I should do is play catch up and then hide up here. Like let them get out of let them get out of range, like play catch up with the lasers. And then just cheese them like this. Yeah, that seems to be the strategy. Yeah, just like barely keep them on screen and then just beat the living shit out of them. S super easy. Unless they've got a second form. Okay. You're tough. Good job. I've analyzed the Human Corp database further. It's bad. People are kidnapped, tortured, operated on. One of them being my mother. I have to reach her. Please help me. Help me stop these evil people. Then I'll pay you. Deal? Uh, deal. Can't wait to get started. Uh, you'd think I'd demand to be paid now. <laughs> Good job. You've beaten the demo. Thank you for playing and be sure to check out the Laser Kickstarter January 20 to Feb... January 2020 to February 2020, every backer helps. And be sure to check out the challenge levels. I have been at this for an hour, so I'm going to pass. But... Let me figure out how to change shells. Like, I know, I know how to do it. I just haven't seen what they're useful for. Okay, Human Corp level 1. So let's die real quick. And instead of doing the fast respawn, we get this screen. Rapid fire. Hold Y to fire lasers. Automatic. Oh, okay. So doing mo doing that mod. Okay, and this is my shells. Bulletproof. Sweet. Laserproof. Damn. Do oh, man. Heavy mass. I wonder how small or how ah uh, shit 
I wonder which would have been use which would have been more useful. Slide faster and longer. Slide deal damage. Ah, oh, damn. All right, let's do laser proof. I look the same. Oh God. Yeah, I I weigh significantly more. I'm a, I'm a very heavy girl. I'm a heavy baby. Okay, how do I get out of this? I want to go to level three. Yeah, level three. No, I don't. I want to go to level two. Yeah, this is level two. Okay. So this one's laser proof, right? Okay, so this one's laser... Wait, is this one... Is this the laser proof one? Oh, I don't think it is. We're about to find out. Like, if I die, I'll, I'll try and change it out. Because that's, that's what I wanted to test. I wanted to test it out against the tanks. Or at least... I think I think I am in still in the heavy armor though. But yeah, I don't I don't think I'm good enough even a little bit at this. Oh damn. I forgot to let the tank shoot me. Uh, I'm not worried. They'll get their chance. Okay. Okay, so now I am laser proof. Damn, this would have been so much easier with the laser proof suit. Ugh. I wonder what the ultralight one does for me, then. So, it seems like the laser-proof suit is also bullet is bulletproof and laser-proof, which takes a lot of the guesswork out of playing this game. Which has to do with how much crap is on screen at a given moment. So wait, if this shell is bulletproof, why the hell was I pressing X to block bullets earlier? Was I not was I not supposed to be blocking bullets? Was I just supposed to be doing like martial arts to like beat them up? <laughs> Cuz I thought I was literally just like deflecting bullets. It was making the little spark effects like it was. Yeah, this is this is super easy now. This is just this is just me walking at things. Like what does X do here? I don't understand. Am I am I beating up the turret? I I just don't understand. Yeah, that was a ton easier. Okay, so uh, let's die here and switch to the ultralight and see what we get. Okay, 95. I don't know what that's going to do for me. Oh, boy, I fly so far. That doesn't seem that useful, honestly. I also still don't know what the pets are for. Like, I can already fly pretty darn far through the level. But there are no enemies here, so I guess it makes sense to keep the ultralight. Maybe it's going to help further on towards the end? Like, okay, I could bypass that rope entirely. Still don't get why... Oh, jeebus. Still don't get why I just jump off of ladders. Doesn't make good sense. Oh, right. I forgot to activate the switch. I gotta say, getting around in the ultralight body is much easier. I still gotta switch to the D-pad for this part, though. Alright, now for the real test. Let's see exactly how far we can get through this. Yep. 
Yeah, that was entirely like a thousand times easier. Okay, so I should have used that a lot more during my playthrough. But this has been laser. Like having come back to it with the different suits, it makes it a ton easier. Although that may be just because I knew how to do the level. But I still have those sticking points. I don't know why I jump off ladders. I don't know why boxes explode twice. And I don't know why the claw physics are an advertised feature. I didn't see any compelling reason for them to be there. Um, and the fact that they burn like fuses, I really feel like could help out later on. But them just like dangling the mines off the boss, did it wasn't a good enough reason for this to be like the advertised feature for me. But I will link the Kickstarter down below if you want to play it for yourself. I'll also link the demo. And until the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around. Bye.